so today I'm going to take you on a tour of our Grand Design Imagine 3150 bunkhouse. So we'll take a look inside first. So here we go. Three steps going up in case you are concerned. All right, you come in and this in front of you is the bathroom. We have an early 2017 model, and so it has a standard door, but now they have a pocket door. So, once you come in, here's your bathroom. It's got nice storage. I really love the storage in the bathroom. Here's your shower with the skylight. It's pretty spacious in there for an RV shower. It's nice. And you'll see there's also an exhaust fan. AC and heat is ducted through the bathroom. And another cabinet underneath. There's also a pocket door that comes into the master. But so you can see, there's back at the front door and there's a little bit of a hallway here. It's got your control panels. And you can come into the master from here. So here's the master. There's outlets on both sides of the nightstands. And storage under the bed but it is closed off I kind of like that that it doesn't get that dust and the dirty from your pass-through storage underneath so you'll see nightstand cabinet I'll show you the cabinets actually go pretty deep in there they're not cut off I know some of them kind of cut at an angle so it gives you an idea there you can mount your TV in this corner here which was not included, of course. We opted for the second AC unit. That's um, an option to add on. It's a dump unit, not ducted. But in Florida, that's necessary for us. So, there's your master. So, once you come in the front door to the left, you've got your kitchen. I love that it's set up almost like a fifth wheel where you've got your kitchen on the street side of the camper. So, lots of storage. A cabinet underneath. And then also there is this other cabinet that has drawers built in. So, like I mentioned, we have the early 2017 models, newer models have a countertop extension that flips up from here and they also have um, an undermount sink and it's stainless so it's a little bit different looking than this that's some of your changes you can expect stainless appliances it's got the oven this is a good size storage drawer under here Norcold refrigerator i believe they recently just switched to dometic another cabinet under there and then this is pull-out dog bowls, which we love for the pets. Um, if you don't have pets, we've seen that some people have turned them into a wine holder too. So We love the fireplace that comes in this unit. It's not in all the Imagines, but this one has it. You can see the controls here. You can set it just for light if you want it for heat. It really warms the camper. We've used that plenty of times without actually turning on the heat. This TV came in it more cabinets, the Furion, you can link Bluetooth to it, plays the DVDs, um, surround sound for that. And then there's the dinette. It's, we've opted for the booth U-shaped dinette for the storage underneath. It goes all the way through. This here is a removable ottoman, so you can bring it out, you know, if you wanted it for a footrest or anything and then 
another option, sorry, is the theater seating. Now they have a blue LED light that runs underneath its decorative and I believe it has heated seats here and lights in the cup holder. We didn't get that option. There's storage in the middle, but the receipts, the seats do recline. So you can get um, a pullout couch here if you want to. You can also get a table and chairs for the dinette. So those are some options that are available. Here's your main unit, ducted AC in here. And then this is the bunkhouse. So you see there's a pocket door, unsnaps and slide shut for privacy. And the bunkhouse, which is amazing. We've got, I love that we have this back window here it's just another campsite. Thankfully we do not have back neighbors, but like the keys when we backed right up on the beach, anything like that, it's a great view that you don't always get with a bunkhouse. You know, it's not a rear living, so sometimes you lose that. So here, again, this TV did not come in, but it comes back for you to mount the TV. And then there's a top bunk here. You'll see this is what the shades look like rolled up and then you can roll them down and unsnap them as blackout shades and blackout shades here. Newer models, they have done away with these and put in the standard pull down blinds like you see out here. I love the blackout, so I don't think that was wise. Sorry if you buy a new one. Um, this bunk will fold up. I'm not gonna fold it completely because we've got it made, but flush against the window so that you can sit better at the couch. This couch is a pull, pull out a full queen. It's not a jackknife pull out. So it completely, you know, comes out to about here. Queen bed comfortably seats too, very easily. And then best of all is this walk-in closet. I've not really seen this ever when we bought it. I think I've seen one at the Tampa RV show this year of a different brand that has this. So again, pocket door. So you can close it up. This light as well as the entry light is motion activated so you can turn it off you can turn it on or you can put it on the motion setting it'll turn on when you come in turn off when you leave so we love that they've got outlets in here and also another vent fan in here as well so this is where the heat comes through we cover it just so the kids don't drop little toys in there or the dogs have an accident anything like that so that's a tip for you if you have little ones This is where the thermostat is located, which with the sun coming in, that can kind of affect the temperature. So we do keep another thermometer in here. But also, this is the only window that has actual vertical mini blinds. I never keep them down, so I just feel like they'll get dirty. So, you know, but so you know, that's what's there. All right. We'll go outside. Right. So we're at the front here. You'll see it's got the LED lights, fiberglass plastic cap, which we love. Uh, dual propane tanks, electric um, tongue jack, and then your light switch for the LED out front will be in here. We also got one of those motion lights. You can see we installed a dual one because we put colored LED lights under the camper. That did not come in it. And you'll see the pass-through storage is the largest, you know, of this class of a travel trailer. It's one of the things that Grand Design advertises when you purchase it. So, that's a plus. That's where your water hooks up in there. I guess I could have shown you that too. So there's your freshwater connect, your cable connect, your freshwater fill is here. My husband does all that stuff, so this is where you connect 
if you're on water at the campground. Electric. This is a 50 amp trailer with that dual AC. So there's a slide out for that bunkhouse. And then they do come standard with a ladder now. We had to add ours on. They're also pre-wired for a backup, you know, rear view camera, so we added that. Spare tire bumper we hide our fishing poles in and then it doesn't have a sink in the outdoor kitchen but it's got this handy mount here for the water and the outdoor kitchen microwave storage cabinet and then you've got a stove top two burner this one's just a storage drawer the outdoor fridge. I wanted an outdoor kitchen terribly bad. This one is wonderful. I couldn't recommend it enough. So we spend most of our time outdoors, so it's perfect. So here's your other slide out. Say hello. So you'll see there's an outlet there. You can see it with that glare. And we're back around to the front. There's the front entrance. So, hope you enjoyed.